Hey everyone, thanks for coming to the channel. Today I'm going to be playing Flesh Eater Quartz versus Steve's Iron Guts. Hopefully they get a new battle tome soon, we all have our fingers crossed for that. We're going to be playing Battle for the Pass. We're going to go over the armies and the table and we'll get right into this. But before we do, if you could do me a huge favor and go down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you're back again to visit us, welcome back, we sure do appreciate it. If you're in the Twin Cities metro area and would like to come in and get a game in with us, just shoot me a message, we'd love to have you in, and we'll schedule that. You can be featured featured in a battle report. Uh, so stay tuned, enjoy the show, folks. Well, we're going to roll to see who's going to set up first. Uh, as far as units, I, uh, I'm going to get to go first no matter what, because I only have 8 and he has 12, but this is going to see who drops first. So that's a 1. And that's a 3. All right. So what do you want me to do? I believe I get to pick my side and deploy first. So I'm going to pick this side and I deploy first. Starting on this side of the board, I'm going to start with, I have three Ogors moving over. Uh, three Ogors, a Tyrant with a big maul, six lead belchers, and then moving towards the center objective, I have three more Ogors. These are three Iron Guts. Uh, two units of three of Ogors, a Butcher with Cauldron, uh, and this is a Tyrant. Uh, he's my general with the Might is Right Warlord trait, a Great Gouger, and the Gyre Strike artifact. And uh, six more Lead Belchers. And then moving over here to the far side, I have three more Ogors. And all of my Ogors have... Cleaver and Iron Fist. And that's it for Gutbusters. Today I am playing the Flesh Eater Quartz, and of course I'm not playing Gristle Gore, and I'm also not spamming the table with Arch Regents. Haha. So I'm going to be running 10 Ghouls. They are part of my battle line. I have three units of Ghouls, they'll be battle line. Uh, so this is a Ghoul King on Terrorgeist. Coming this way, I have another unit of 10 Ghouls here. I have the uh, Carnal Throne. Hiding behind there is the Arch Regent. We won't say hiding because that's not uh, cool, but he's hiding back there. And then I have another uh, Ghoul King on Terrorgeist. Another Ghoul King on Terrorgeist. This guy here is my general. Uh, he's got the Blood River Chalice on him. He has the Mount Trait uh, reroll re failed hits with the Swing Maw. And I also have the Command Trait ability Feeding Frenzy Feast Day. And also here I have another unit of 10 Ghouls. Crypt Infernal Courtier here. So, and then we'll go over here and I'll just go over real quick all of my stuff for summoning. So the fun summoning mechanic with uh, the new Flesh Eater Quartz, uh, they were always good but it got better. So this is all the stuff that I can potentially summon on the table. So I have three units of flares here, each with a leader in the middle. And I have another unit of flare here, leader in the middle. And then I have a unit of 20 ghouls. I'm doing this post game. I just wanted to mention I had showed my army there real quick and I had all of the flares there, there's one unit that I actually won't be able to bring on because of the Majestic Horror rule change, so you can't double summon uh, with one command point. So there's one of those units of flares that won't be coming on the table. I am going to take first turn, Flesh Eater Court turn one. I'm going to do some movement and stuff, so we're going to get these guys going. Uh, actually, I'm going to run up these fellas. I don't have anything in the hero phase because all my summoning is actually at the end of the movement phase. Steve's whispering hero face. <laughs> so down. Actually, I'm going to measure and see if I'm still inside six. Yes, I am. So, get my little extra bump there. And then this dude here is going to run. So I moved up all my stuff. He ran, but he didn't really need to because I kind of pulled him back once I measured out uh, Steve's charge range. Uh, these guys ran. Uh, puts me within six inches of there. I have about half my squad within six of there uh, to hold that objective. Then these guys scooted up, and again, I measured back so he can't charge me, at least in his first turn. Uh, I moved the Arch Regent just kind of up and around the corner because the shooting can't get me from where it is. Uh, these guys are just sitting on the objective. Uh, I moved him up just a little bit, again, measuring back so he can't charge me. Uh, these guys are up far enough where he actually can charge me. should be able to hit the corner of him if he wants with that unit right there, but I'm holding the objective right now. I should be close enough to it. If I didn't, I screwed up. Anyway, I'm holding the objective there, but you can nick me with that <coughs> unit if you want, but that's on purpose. And so now I will do all my summoning and we'll be right back. So 
So I did all my summoning. Uh, these two units of flares came on. There's a unit of three here and a unit of three here. Uh, it's nine inches from him, six inches in from the table edge. And I used Majestic Horror to bring those both on, so I only burned one command point to do that. And then if you come this way, my other summoning was down here. I brought on one unit of 20 uh, ghouls with the Arch Regent that's hanging out by the Carnal Throne. And then the other two units will actually have to come on in my next phase when I get some more uh, command points. So now we will go into charges. We'll be right back. So I only have two charges. I'm going to charge with this unit of flares down here. I'm going to attempt to get at those guys. I think I will need close to a 12. So that's epic fail. And I don't have a command point to reroll or anything. So then we'll come down to this end. And I'm going to charge with this unit of ghouls right here. And the same thing I probably need as well, it looks like. Nine. I doubt that gets me there. Could be close. Inch. Sure does. Okay. So, we'll just go. Hello, buddy. And that is that. And then uh, I don't have any shooting. You know, I would have done shooting already. Um, so I don't have anything in range. Those guys down there were outside of range to shoot, so that didn't really matter. Um, so then we'll just do combat here. I'm attacking with the ghouls there. I have 14 of them in there. The leader isn't close enough. He's towards the back of the pack. And I'm outside of 18, so I don't get the reroll ones for being by an aberrant. So I'm hitting on fours. And uh, I actually get to roll these twice. So uh, wounding on fours. I'll pick the ones out. So out of that batch, I got five. Less than every on this one. All right, so one of that. So total six, no rent. Right. So ogres have a save of five plus. And that was terrible. Okay, that is a, a whole ogre, and one has two. Points. Guess I'm going to my attacks back. They get three apiece, so. Uh, six attacks hitting on fours. Alright, so that is five hits. And wounding on threes. And that is three. Uh, no rend, two damage piece. Okay, saving on sixes. So it takes three, so six of them. Okay. So that is actually all of our combat for this, so we'll just do battle shock real quick. So three plus six is nine, bravery ten, so they don't care. And I have bravery six minus one. I lose one. Uh, so I actually have three objectives. I have the two center objectives and I have the objective on my own side. So I want to have five points for turn one. We got Buster's turn one. Let's give this a shot. First thing to start with is the Butcher. Butcher is going to use the Cauldron. Starting with the Cauldron. And, uh, butcher suffers D3 mortal wounds for one. Just the way I planned it. You're welcome. All right. And the Butcher is going to cast Mystic Shield on the unit of these three ogres right here on a6. So that goes off on an eight. So they have Mystic Shield. Unless you're going to deny. And so, oh, how many other spells do you have? That's it. Okay. I will try to deny it. All right. So I cast it on an eight. So oh, denied, 11. All right. I thought you had a bunch of casting. Nope. And a uh, bully of the first degree. Um, I'm using my command point that I generated this turn to do D3 mortal wounds to lead belchers to make them immune to battle shock. So they take two. You're killing your own dudes. Oh yeah. All right, there's two on him. 
I'm gonna move, move to movement and get the background on that. So I didn't I didn't run anything. Everything just moved forward. It's standard six inches. Kind of took up a defensive posture. Nobody really did anything too fantastic or amazing. Uh, I'm just getting ready to withstand the assault. Uh, the only charge I'm going to have this game is going to be one, or this turn is going to be one. So uh, we're going to move to shooting. Uh, none of my shooting was in the range, so I'm just going to move straight to charging. So they're going to attempt a charge. And they get it on a six. And as long as I'm touching, we should be... And now we move to combat. I am actually going to select the unit all the way on the other side with the ghouls first. I uh, piled in, and uh, now I'm going to take my th my <laughs> four attacks because the one guy left the sergeant. And uh, I'll four hit. That was pretty lucky. And um, moving to wound. Uh, that is three. No ren, two damage piece. Alright, so saving on sixes. So none of them, so I take six. Because I'm outside of range of anybody too, because I actually do have two heroes in the vicinity, but not close enough. So where do I want to take them from? We're going to go to these guys. So everybody else should be able to pile in there. So I'm going to pile in. No, actually, we're going to go on the other end. So I'm gonna pile in real quick here. Just beep, scooch that guy this way. This guy goes three forward. And Steve and I talked about it on cam off camber real quick so that I definitely can get in there three inches. Uh, three of them there, the leader in the middle, they get four attacks each and then an extra one for the leader. So if they hit on a six, it says a mortal wound in addition to. So I got a six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 5 or 4 of them. Okay. Moving on 3s. So 2 of them, minus 1 rend. And one more. And then right. one mortal. Alright, did I add one back in for that? No, you did not. Go ahead and roll it. I didn't think I did. Uh, this is wounding on 3, so actually one more. Alright. Um, I actually made that one. Okay. So, th uh, 1 damage piece. Yep, 1 so piece. So it's 3, so... Uh, which one? So then my choice for combat, obviously I'm going to pick the only unit I have left. That's going to be these guys right here, and that's going to be three, six, plus four for a total of ten attacks. Hitting on fours. One, two, three, four. I think there was one one in there. I re-roll ones. And, or is it wounds to roll? Well, I'm gonna check that real quick. So I'm gonna stick with the five, not add the sixth one, because I do re-roll ones to wound, not to hit. So, when I charge. So there's two ones. And so that is four, no rend, two damage piece. Okay. All right, saving on fives. None of them. Two damage piece, so that's ten. Correct? Yep. I actually forgot. Uh, I did save on a six on that last one, so you get a mortal wound too. From the Iron Fist. So I get another mortal wound? Just, just one mortal wound from that save that I made at the end of your attack. But I forgot. I forgot that they had the, the Iron Fist. So, I completely forgot about the ability, but all of my ogres have Iron Fists, and on a save roll of a six, um, not only do they save the attack, but it hit, does a mortal wound back to the attacker within an inch. I completely forgot about it until now, so I don't remember if I rolled any over there, but I did. I do remember rolling one over here. So out of that, I took two guys off that died, and then two, two going to here, and then because of the rule that Steve just mentioned, uh, I don't have any heroes by there, so I, I don't get deathless, so then I'll take, that guy will actually take another mortal. So back to the other uh, combat here, so I'm just going to pile in real quick. I can get them all in there too. Uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight. And the leader actually died, so I don't get him. Uh, but these guys get two attacks apiece. Fours and fours. Yeah, that's kind of dismal. Okay. 
Okay, three of them, no rend. Three, no rend. So these will be five pluses, sixes shoot back. And it'll be one shot back and two failed. Okay, so it's immortal. Yep, push them. And he takes. Oh. Nope. Nope. Where's the two? Did he have some? I thought he had some on him already. No, the other one had two. Oh, and okay. he, he fled. Uh, so I got two, four, six, seven. Plus five, that's 12. So two more go away. Let's do these guys here. Then I didn't lose anybody this turn, so I don't have battle shot. So then we're going to roll for turn. I rolled three. Sweet. I got a five. I will take it. I'm going to try to cast Mystic Shield on the big bad dude here. And five. I need a six for Mystic Shield, right? So that fails. Okay. Then I am going to do my movement, and we'll be right back. I did all my movement. Uh, everybody just basically moved up. I was going to run with some people, but decided didn't really need to. Uh, so these guys moved just inside of three, or, you know, just outside of three there, getting ready for a charge. He scooted up around the corner here. These 10 guys are just parked on the objective. He scooted right up uh, just outside of three. He retreated out of there so he can't charge. Uh, basically, I'm just he's going to be used as a speed bump. Uh -huh. So he's just outside of three there. These guys moved up to park on the objective. These guys are within six at the objective, so I'm holding with basically with both units. Uh, so that is the end of my movement phase. So now I will do my summoning. I have one uh, command point from the beginning of the turn, so I will bring on a unit of flares. We're going to put these fellas right here. Yep. Should be exactly at nine. So now, shooting, I will remember this time. So we will just start down in this end. Uh, all of the flares get a shooting attack. It's 10 inches. So uh, their death shriek, or death scream. Uh, it says, do not use the attack sequence for an attack made with the death, death scream. Instead, roll 2d6. Subtract 2 if the target unit is more than 3 inches from the attacking model. Uh, if the result is higher than the target, uh, bravery, than the bravery's characteristic, the target unit suffers a number of border wounds equal to the difference. So what's their bravery? 6. 6. Okay. So each one of these guys gets a death scream, so I will do them one at a time. So 2d6, and I'm subtracting 2 because they're more than 3 inches away. So that is a seven, so minus two is a five, so that does nothing. The next guy, nothing. The next dude, so nothing. Okay, then over here, same thing. We're gonna shoot into this unit. 2d6, and, okay. Gonna learn my lesson and get different dice. <laughs> so one guy already went there. Uh, that did not help. Still six. All right, finally nothing. Still, and then uh, this guy here, he's gonna shoot into that unit. The mobility or the shooting? This is all shooting. Yep. Because if you retreated, so four. You can't shoot. Oh, that's right. Yep, I did retreat with him, so he can't shoot. Forget that. He failed anyway. Uh, so then, death scream from the terrorgeist. He is gonna scream into death. He's got the death shriek. Uh, instead roll a dice, add the death sheet value. So this I just roll at one dice and then I add um, plus six. So six plus six is twelve. So, and those duders there. So the difference, uh, if the, it's the difference between the bravery. Total is higher than the iron's bravery characteristic, mortal wounds equal to the difference. So if they're bravery six, it does six mortal wounds. Oh, you, you already rolled? Yeah. Oh, okay. Put the terror against uh, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm waiting for you to roll. Dan's got me. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Then heading down this way. Same thing, each one of these guys get it. So he's going to go into that unit there. So we're rolling a dice. Two plus six is eight. So it's two. So two. 
And the next yeah, guy. Dice. Next guy going in the same unit. So nine. So it's three. And this guy is too far away from anything, so he cannot shoot. So that is all my shooting. And see, I remembered this time. And now we go on to charges. We'll be right back. So I basically charged what could charge. I got in here. Uh, this guy couldn't charge because he retreated. This guy charged, and he's actually within uh, both of those units, so he'll pull both of those guys in. Uh, not the tyrant. He's just outside, obviously. Uh, but he'll get into it with both of those guys there. Uh, this unit here or this guy here charged. Uh, he got up into that unit there. He's gonna pull all of that other stuff in too, probably even the butcher if you wanted him to be there. And then uh, the general, he's up into here, into that unit there. Actually, I don't, is that two units? Mm -hmm. So he's into the center of both of those units. So he'll get into it with both of those guys. And then over there, those guys are still in combat. He's all beefed up. By that, I mean he has the uh, Feeding Frenzy and Feast Day. Mm -hmm. So this is the essential, he piles in, and then he piles in again. Okay. So it's going to be gross. Yeah, he attacks twice. What's the range on his attack? Uh, three inches. That's why I'm looking to see if I can get at that guy behind there, and I think I can. So, I don't know that I'm going to. All of his weapons are at three? No, just the Fang Maw, the one that really matters. So I'm going to put everything... The skeletal claws and all the rest of it into the guys in front. Which squad? I'm gonna go with the. Uh, how many wounds does that dude have on it? One. He has one. One squad has seven wounds left. The other one has twelve. Okay. So I'll start with the one on this side. Mm -hmm. Gory talons and fangs. Uh, threes and threes. Five attacks. Alright, so four of them, uh, minus one round. Fail them all. Okay, just does one damage each. Okay. Skeletal claws, four attacks, fours and threes. So one, minus one round, it'll do D3. Fail it. Okay, it does D3, one. Okay, then the Fang Maw. This is going into. Um, and he has the mount trait, which allows me to reroll failed hits for the Fang Maw. Uh, this is going into the Tyrant back there. Fours and threes. Okay, reroll these, and that's actually a six, so that makes a difference. Got another six out of that. So four. Or sorry, now I need a three. So three, this one's at minus two, and it'll do D6. Okay, that's a six plus. Failed it. Okay, and we'll do D6. Does four. And then these two, uh, because they were sixes, they do, uh, if an unmodified hit roll of an attack, uh, made with Fang Maw six, that attack inflicts six mortal wounds in the target. So 12 mortal wounds there. Told you it was gross. Then uh, his special ability is the Feast Day, Feeding Frenzy, and because those two things are together, he doesn't have to use a command point to use this ability, so he just piles in again. Uh, I'm going to go here. So we're going to start with the five uh, Gory Talons and Fangs, Trees and Trees. Two of them, minus one round. Okay. That's on the same squad here? Or the, uh, no, there's someone over here. And then uh, Skeletal Claws. Uh, four of them, fours and threes. Minus one round. It'll do D3. Failed it. Does D3. Two. Okay. Okay. Then the Fang Maw. Fours and threes. We're rolling. So that's uh, six mortals there. And these two went through. Threes. So two of them minus two rend. They'll do D six each. Oh wait, no, they don't even get saves. Yeah, here it is. Okay. 
So that is it for the uh, that neuter. Liking the iron guts to uh, attack the terror geist. That is going to be 10 attacks. Hitting on fours. Wow. Number three. And now wounding on threes. One, two. So that's six. Ren minus one. Three damage piece. This is going to be bad. Uh, six run minus one, fours. Ooh, actually not too bad. And then I get to re-roll. Uh, how many damage, please? Three. Three? Okay. That was. So it takes three of them. All right, sir. Then I'm going to go. What does your butcher do? 2d6 hits on fours, wounds on threes, no rend, one damage. Okay. So I'm actually going to do something normally I don't do uh, because you're already going with the unit that I'm in combat with. Uh, but I'm close enough that that other, the butcher is in there too, so I don't want him to take a free swing at my terror geist. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to split my attacks. So uh, the main stuff is going to go into these dudes here and my three inch fang maw is going to go into the butcher. I have three wounds on me, so I'm still in the top tier. And then the Gory Fangs and Talons. He does not have all the extra fun shenanigans my other guy did, uh, but he's okay. So threes. And then threes. So three of them, minus one rend. We'll do one damage each. I think I made one. And how much piece? One. So I still made one, though. Okay. So skeletal claws into the same unit, fours and threes. So one, uh, minus one rend. It'll do D3. Made it. <laughs> Made it? Okay. Mm. Then this one into the butcher. Uh, this is the fame maw. So fours and threes. Oh, ho, 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 nothing. That's what I needed. I needed that one. That sucks. Okay. You, sir. Uh, I need to put some outside of one inch. Now, why ogres have a one inch attack range would be on me, but. It's the big chubby arms. Alright, here's three attacks. Hitting on fours. That's one miss. Two wounds. No rend, two damage piece. On the terror against, right? Yep. Okay. No rend, you said? <coughs> no rend. Okay, fours. So it takes one. How many piece? Two. Okay, deathless. Takes two of them. I'm gonna go right there with those ghouls and try to get rid of that single dude there. Four, five, so ten. Fours. Um, we're gonna look up a rule real quick. We'll be right back. So I get to re-roll the ones because I'm wholly within uh, 18 of that terror guys there. The Emerald Cool King. So one more went through. Okay. So then fours. So two of them. No rent. Five pluses. Made one and it kicks a mortal back. Okay. So it'll be one damage. Pile in with these three. And, uh, oh, you want with the other unit? Yep. And, uh, get my 10 attacks. So, if it is 10 attacks, hitting on fours, wounded on threes. Oh, one, two, oh, five. And wounded on threes. And that's four, no rend, two damage piece. Hitting on fours. Saved one of them. How many damage? Two piece. Okay, take six of them. Okay. I'm going to go with, because both your units went here now, right? Correct. Okay, I'll go to down here with those guys. Okay, I got a leader in the middle there. 
fours and threes, hoping for sixes. Got some sixes here. Four of them, minus one round. Alright, so it's gonna be six pluses. I made one and it shoots a mortal back. Okay, and uh, then there's the immortals. Oh, so, so it's five total? Uh, yes, if you didn't save any other ones. Um, and so it shot one mortal back at me, you said? Yep. Hey everyone, me again. I uh, just wanted to mention if you roll the dice and you get a in addition to, you always want to set those dice aside and not put them back in your pool so you don't forget how many in addition to as you actually get with mortal wounds. I did that here and I corrected it later on in the battle, so stay tuned for the rest of the show. Sorry about that. Okay, I don't think I'm close enough for deathless for anybody. So, so it was three plus one mortal for four total or five total? I made one of them with a six. I guess now I'm going to attack with them. So that's going to be seven attacks, hitting on fours, wounding on three. Two. No, no rend. No rend, two damage. Okay, so fives. Uh, oh, I don't get that. So two damage apiece? Yep. Okay, so if this guy's dead, that gets me to three wounds. Yeah. Alright, so then I have my terrorized here to go with. You lost one. Uh, no, that was last round. Oh, that's from shooting. Oh, okay, from, it is from the shop. So, yep, and one guy has two wounds left. Okay, so you will end up taking battle shock there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go into the other unit. And so the strategy there, in case you're wondering why I'm not going after the weaker of the two units, is because if you have a unit that's already going to take battle shock, you might as well try to make the other one take battle shock too. There's no sense in going after the weaker unit. Sometimes if he was closer to an objective or something and they needed to get rid of it, then you would go after the weaker unit. But in this case, I want to try to make both of those units take battle shock. Especially if your opponent only has bravery six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has two, four, six, eight wounds on him. So that does drop me down on my chart. Uh, I have, drops me down to the third tier. So the only thing that'll affect as far as uh, melee weapons is it'll be the skeletal claws. So gory chains and fangs and talons are still five. So threes and threes. Okay, one at minus one round. All right. Uh, minus one, you said? Yep. Okay, that's failed. Okay, does one damage. And then skeletal claws, because I said I did drop down, that gets me down to three. So fours and threes. Ugh. Okay, and then the Fang Maw. This is the one that always makes the difference. Fours and threes. So one of them, minus two rend. Can't pass it. Okay, it'll do d6. So four of them. So that's one guy, and... Oh, wound transfers over. The only one I have left is the Butcher. And then I yeah. got the guy down at the far end too. Alright, so the Butcher's going to pile in. And the Butcher gets 2d6 attacks. For 6. I'm just pulling it up real quick so I don't hit 9. Hitting on 4s, wounded on 3s. Four, he's fine. Okay. 
And then, do you have any more attacks? I don't think you do. I don't think I did. I went here. These guys all have markers on them. They went. I know I went here, and I went there. So nope, I have nothing. So left. the last one left is the Gut Lord, and uh, he's got four attacks hitting on fours, wounding on threes. That's a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. So a battle shock. Uh, the only one I think I have a battle shock on is here. So two plus one is nothing. So it doesn't matter. All right. So I've got one at minus two here. Uh, two uh, plus three is five. So they're good. Uh, they didn't lose anybody. Um, oh, this one here. They lost one. So on a six, I lose a guy. And on a six, I lose the other guy on this squad over here. And on the way squad over there that fought the flares, I'm just going to roll a dice and a one. So they're fine. Alrighty. So, I believe it's my turn. Whoa. Yep, things are going to get ugly. I gambled on some things and it did not go the way I planned, so this is all going to... Hey, you took out my guy that does six damage to swing on four pluses. I mean, come on. Yeah, but <laughs> I basically sacrificed, as I said, if I moved that there and it didn't get to where I wanted, I was sacrificing a terror grace, which kind of sucks, but... I mean, if I get off when so, I want to this turn, you're going to lose your general, so we'll see. Well, he's only got one wound on him, so you really have to go at him. Wow. Uh, so I actually, with the end of my turn there, I score another five points. So I went ten to nothing, or ten to two, or yeah, ten to two. one so far. Yeah. yeah, ten to one. Gutbusters turn two. Let's see if I can turn this baby around. Uh, generate a command point starting with the butcher. Uh, really hope I roll well here because I'm going to need to if I can get the chart up. All right, so we're going to start with the great cauldron. And he takes one mortal wound. I wonder if I'm ever actually going to get that thing off. All right, casting Voracious Maw with him. I'm going to target your general. Oh, I suppose I don't have to declare a target right away. But cast on a seven. I'm going to spend a command point for the uh, in the hero phase to let them reroll ones to hit, wound, and save. Because an ogre unit has fled this game. And uh, uh, that puts me down to one command point, and I think I'm going to save the next command point. So moving to movement. Hey, look at that. Pretty much everyone's in combat. Because Gutbusters doesn't have their own specific rules, I have to go for the general Grand Alliance rules. I always forget about the Rampaging Destroyers. So a uh, hero on a 6-plus unit gets to move, and the other tyrant... Okay. All right. So now moving on with the hero phase movement, I uh, move my one hero. Now going to shooting. So starting with shooting, I'm going to take these six lead belchers, and I'm going to put them all at that bad boy right there. So that's going to be six d6 shots because they are not within three inches of an enemy, and they did not move in the movement phase in the same turn. So that's going to be 11, 12, 22. They're not within how many inches of an enemy? Three. Here's 19, so I'll reroll three fails. All right, and they are hitting on fours. So there's one, two, three. And these are all hits. And rerolling those three failed. Uh, so that's two more. And, and now these are threes to wound, and that is really bad. Uh, that is seven at minus one. And five. Okay, took four of them. Do I got? Uh, did they expand or no? Deathless. So save one more. So it took three. So it should be at eleven, I think. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Over at this lead belcher squad, it's going to shoot at his 
lovely general, which reminds me, did I ever take that guy's four attacks in the combat phase? I don't think I did. Doesn't matter. No idea. 6d6 shots. Uh, that is way worse. 10, 15, 19. Oh, man. And yes, we were picking on Steve about his funky dice before we started playing, but they're cool dice in case they're hard to read. Well, that's five on him, minus one. Okay, so fives. Yeah. Did they expand? No. Okay, so sixes, so it takes four. And then I uh, don't have any other shooting, so move to charges. Pretty simple. Lead belters are going to charge. Pretty sure they're getting in there. Anytime you used to be able to charge undead stuff, you'd have to take a fear test in Old Fantasy. The good old days. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it so when I pile in, they can actually get it. Get one or maybe two more in there, probably just one, but uh, he's going to declare a charge for a seven. Maybe I'll just hit the speed bump then. Yay. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> and uh, well, It actually probably would have been better for me personally if you would have went at the Terror Geist. I'm going to pick the lead belchers to go first, believe it or not. <laughs> so... And I don't think he'll be able to be within. Nope. Not unless I wiggle him over. So I got four. Eight attacks hitting on fours. Just disappointing. Just straight disappointing. Uh, two. Rend to minus one, two damage piece. Saving on fives. And one save. Did they expand it all? Uh, they're two damage. Two damage. So he takes two. I kind of got to go here before he dies. So I'm going to put uh, the gory fangs and talons into this unit here. I'm going to put the skeletal claws into that dude right there. And then the fang maw back into this one here. So, fangs and talons. Threes. Three. So two of them, minus one rend. Right. And minus one is sixes. And I saved one, which reflects a mortal. Okay, it doesn't uh, one damage. A wolf and mortal. So it takes one. And 12, he's still alive. Uh, so he is down on the bottom chart, so he's got three claws going into that dude over there. Uh, fours and threes. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, Fang Ma. Okay. Two of them, minus two rounds. So, so I'll do D6 for each one. So six of them. Yeah, exactly enough to wipe the score. Sweet. So then I'm going to attack with the iron guts. So these guys, right now, I have ten attacks. Hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. So hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Terrible. Rolling one. Okay, so that's four minus one, three damage piece. Okay. And you're going on this one right here, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. How many piece? Three piece. So one, two. So that means he took ten of them, so it leaves him with one wound left. 
I'm just going to go like this. So this is going to be reversed. So I'm going to put this up on the base, meaning he just has one wound left. Do you have any other combat? You have that over here. That there, that there. You already went there. Did you, you didn't go, I didn't with, go with the butcher. I haven't gone with the tyrant. I haven't gone with him. And then, oh yeah, I've got that one singular guy there left too. Okay, so uh, the other stuff, I mean, that flare will die, I fully expect that, but if I don't go here, he's just gonna blow that dude up. So I'm gonna go here. Um, I'm gonna put everything into the butcher, because he already went with the other unit. Done so much this game. <laughs> How many wounds does this guy have left on? You have one singular guy in here? Yeah, yeah, he's got two wounds left. Yeah. yeah, so that might be epic. He might just take him with him when he dies, if he dies. I'm gonna put everything into the butcher except for the skeletal claw. The skeletal claws, I'm gonna put into that single dude there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this uh, Gory Fangs and Talons, threes. And threes. So three of them, minus one rend. Sixes. Made one. Okay, does one damage each. Um, then the skeletal claws, going into that other dude. You get two attacks, he's way down on his profile. Fours, threes, so one of them, minus one rend. It'll do D3. Six plus. Failed it. Okay, it does D3. Two. two. Yeah, that's it. Cool beans. Then uh, the Fang Maw, fours and threes. Ho, 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 ho. 12 more to wounds. Just when I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, he wants to live, folks. Back to you. My tyrant's going to attack the three man squad that's actually unharmed. And uh, after piling in, and he's going to use his master over massive ogre club, hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Okay, so that's three. Ren to minus two, three damage apiece. Okay, or, uh, yep. ren, ren to minus two? Yep. Okay, so they don't get a normal save. And then how many damage apiece? Three apiece. So three, six, nine. So I saved two of them. Took two, four, six, seven of them. So we'll get rid of this dude here. Three on the other duder. Okay. I forgot to mark which. I forgot to roll even which trait these guys had. So I just rolled it and we got a three. I don't even know what that does. Maybe. He's got a save of a three plus instead of a four plus. I forgot to roll for the other guy too. But he's dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so that's all of his attacks? That's all of his attacks. Okay. Then I'm gonna go. That one ogre is just hanging out down there. Better off trying this one. Yep. And for some reason, I killed the leader. I don't know why I did that, but Chad is silly things sometimes. So fours and threes, open for sixes. That's a six. That's a six. The rest aren't very good. So then I add these two back in. Threes. So three of them at minus one rend, and then two mortals. Sitting on fours. Wounded on threes. Got them both. Any rend? Nope. Okay, saving on sixes. Takes them both. Is it anything Two extra? Two damage piece. Two damage piece. And I don't think I'm within 12. I'm not within 12. So that'd be four of them. Just enough to get rid of those guys. That guy's mean in business down there. So this is the big one. A big baddie. Uh, should be down a profile, so. Mm, yeah, that's okay. He's still beefed up. Is this all separate? That's all one unit, right? Yup. Okay. Five of them. Threes and threes. Threes, threes. Three of them, minus one rend. Need sixes. Failed them all. Okay, just does one damage each. Okay, and then skeletal claws. I'm down one profile. Fours and threes. Oh, nothing. 
Okay, bang more. This is the one I want. Come on, buddy. Reroll and fails. Oh, yeah. And then rerolling this. Uh, okay, so four, and then three. So one more at minus two rend. Go ahead and roll the d6. Plus three. All right, sir. Then I get more than that. And attack again. Down to one. I think I go like this. I'm back in within range of that. I don't do that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Gory fangs and talons. Trees. Trees. Two of them minus one rend. Maybe one. Does one damage. Skeletal claws. Guess I'm down one profile. Fours. Threes. One of them, minus one rend. It'll do D3. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Does one. Okay. And then Fang Ma. Three one fails. Okay. Quite possibly could live. One and threes. Minus two ram, two of them. If you roll double ones, he's alive with one. D6. Yeah, he's dead. Man, that monster terrorgeist, he's wrecking some face. But that's the beefed up one, so I fully expect it out of him. So, good deal. Piling, I'm going to attack with my two remaining Joes. Hitting on fours, wounded on threes. And wounded on threes. And that's two, no rend. Saving on fours. Takes one. Two damage. Do they expand? Yep. Saves one, takes one. So he has one wound left. Opposite again on this same on this guy then. Mm -hmm. They could live, folks. They could live. We'll see. There you go. Uh, so then I gotta go here with these fellers. Uh, I will go with this guy first. Not that it really matters. Well, actually, let's just go like this. they're all the same guys basically these two are leaders so we get an extra attack so we should get 13 14 of them fours and threes one and sixes that's a six did i bump that i bumped that but i think it was a five okay and then i'll add one back in for that all good threes so three of them, and then one mortal. Uh, these are minus one rooms. All right, so I've got a four plus save. So failed two. Yeah. And then, so I take three. Yeah. And then the mortal too, did you add that in? Or? Yeah, so I failed two, which then goes up to three. Oh, okay. I didn't know if he had to roll different for the mortals or not. Nope, he just has a three plus. He gets plus one of his armor save as the tyrant trait. Cool. All right, so that is all my attacks there. I think that is, that's it for the board, right? You got anything left? That's all I got. Everything else is dead. Okay. So, Battle Shock. This stuff isn't going to matter. The ghouls are fine. I bet my ghouls over there are dead as disco. And the rest of these guys don't matter. They do not care. So, that is end of turn. Roll this, you take so turns. So, you get a point. Woohoo. So, roll to see who takes turn. Five. What'd you get? Good game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was if I had the double turn I had a chance, but there is no way right now that we I'm not well, I'm gonna heal. No, you're so. gonna heal, you're gonna you're gonna back up, you're gonna bring the re, the, the good terror guys into combat there. You're gonna get your charge off. I'm way too far behind on points. I needed to get rid of the terror I, I needed to get rid of two terror guys last turn and my rolls just didn't support me. Well you can't really close on it because both of those guys are on one. So that one's the one that actually will heal D6. These guys will each just heal D3. I exactly, I would just retreat out of there and say good luck. Yeah. Um, because I'm already ahead on points. Because uh, it's a turn three, I'm up 10 to two. 
So we are calling it game. Good game, sir. And so I don't know what anybody thinks of the ogres. These are a tough army against uh, this particular build of the Flesh Eater Corsair. So it's just gross. The Flesh Eater Corsair are in a good spot right now, but it's really not fair to other armies. So I tried to water it down a little bit. I did not take Gristle Gore because that's totally unfair, and I also did not spam it with um, a lot of Arch Regents, which is also unfair to people. Uh, there were a couple rules that I forgot. I forgot to cast on Holy Vitality. I should have totally done that. And then my Arch Regent actually has an ability. He could have bounced forward, and I forgot to do that. But I was going to do it this turn because I remembered to do that. But uh, Steve will definitely get me next time, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> we'll see. Well, those Flesh Eater Courts, they're a tough customer. The Iron Guts weren't a match for them this time. Don't worry, Steve will be back. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you're in the Twin Cities metro area and would like to come in and get a game and with us, shoot me a message and we can get that scheduled. We'd love to have you in and feature in a video. And we have a lot of other battle reports on the channel, so be sure to check those out. If you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, you'll be notified of our upcoming videos. We have a lot of new content coming out and we have a lot of different armies and stuff that we're working on. So stay tuned for more, folks. Mm -hmm.